Hey, I'm Tucson Morrison. Thank you so much for tuning into the Social Science Club. We love having you here and I'm just loving making this channel and creating more content for people to absorb and then ask themselves questions about what's going on in their lives and why is this happening? Why is that happening? And why am I thinking this? Why do I feel this way? Um, today I want to talk about how powerful your language is. So let's jump right into it. Uh, I worked as a paraprofessional in resource rooms for about uh, a little less than a decade. Um, depending on what you define as a paraprofessional, worked as a youth mentor in summer camps and after school programs. And a lot of those situations were working with kids uh, in exigent circumstances. And exigent circumstances meaning um, very uh, uh, homeless and highly mobile as they um, phrase it in public schools here. And then also uh, kids that are essentially in low income neighborhoods and have uh, uh, parents or guardians that may have substance abuse issues. And in a lot of these situations, regarding what the circumstance is with the child um, or the, the youth or the student or the person, was one thing I found that was a through line and of, of the many things that were going on in these, these classrooms was the power of language. My early years working as a, 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 a student, youth mentor or after school program person, um, I didn't know a whole lot. I mean, I, I went in, uh, I think about the age of 19 or 20, um, and I was in, I was just like a freshman, sophomore in college, and I just didn't think much of it until, I think around the year three or four, I started to really understand the power of it. But the, the, the point being is that what usually ignited or created uh, events that were vitriolic, uh, got violent, and, um, you know, people went to the, the furthest degree of, well, now I have to settle this physically with you. Uh, started with words. It was never, um, it was never just, well, we gotta, we gotta have violence right now, or I feel sad right now, or it, it was always with words would prompt something. And the thing that I discovered later on working in pre-K and, and kindergarten and third grade rooms was even though a lot of, the, a lot of the, the, the bodies in the classroom had been around, you know, on earth for less than a decade, what you said was so damn important that I came to a point where I had to start thinking twice, three times, four times about how to just speak to a student. And a lot of those moments were in silence. And um, my job in, in, those, in those days was to work with kids that were on their second or third strike before getting kicked out of said school. And the language that I would have to use or that I began to use that I, th I felt was best was I would receive said story from student and then it's, okay, so then what, what's the next step? As opposed to um, a meritocratic way of, oppose, uh, of approaching them. And I find that, it, and it, this, this is, goes into all facets and directions of life and actually we went over this in group therapy once regarding um, listening and in listening it's the encouragement for them to go further and say okay well so then what happened well how'd you feel when that went down ah okay and as opposed to oh my goodness are you serious that is awful that that idiot. You know, it's, and it's, instead of applying brands and words and definitions and my opinion, my opinion, my, my opinion to their story, the, the question was, okay, how do you feel and what do you want to do next? Okay. Do you think that's an option? Do you think we can actually achieve that? And with, with, in, in responding to said student with questions and, and, and more interest in what they're thinking, we were then able to build going forward. And I think you can do that with anybody. I think you can do that with yourself too, uh, but it was it was the words that it, it that in, that incited. I'm talking classroom like just like like uh, uh, social grenades. It just it would go in all directions. Like somebody would say something, and it would just erupt. And the words are the tip of the iceberg. They're the tip of the iceberg. Everybody has something going on outside of school. Everybody has something going on outside of you when you approach them. Like you're not the hero all end all for other people. And it is what it is. So when you say something, you don't know the context in which somebody is receiving it. And so when we, when we are flippant or uh, uh, very loose with our language, it can get to the point that it's like, maybe we should start 
carrying our words like more preciously, treating them, you know, like this is uh, definitely something that, that, that carries more weight. My word is actually more powerful than I ever could have imagined it to be. And so with that being said, just watch your words. Watch your words. Like just over the next like, not even 24 hours, I'll give you this. Over the next five minutes after finishing this video, hone in on the words that you're thinking about saying and hone in on the words that you're thinking when you're interpreting what's around you. How are you labeling things? And then going forward, like really think two, three, maybe four times before you say something. I remember once in a classroom, um, and it, this is kind of where this, this, this all stems from. <sighs> Somebody said something, and I'm gonna try to make this as vague as possible. One student uh, made a remark about another student, and it was, in, uh, it was, was an insult. Uh, it was very personal. It was something they knew about them. Uh, so student A said this to student B. Uh, student B was very hurt. Um, and this, this kid was, dear God, uh, four or five years old. And playing dodgeball, dodgeball's flying around, it's going crazy. And um, the end of it, this kid, this kid pulls up on the other one and just, you know, has, has hands on him, just shaking him, you know, and like then hits him. And there's like a four-year-old kid, four or five-year-old kid. And I go up, I go up to, uh, I go up to the kid afterwards. I said, whoa, 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 what's going on? Because now they're crying. And so this is for another video, a kid goes into resorts to anger and then resorts to sadness. I mean, the, the, the spectrum and the waves are, are, are going everywhere. Uh, it was a video for another time. But, and I say, hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's going on? And this kid who's four or five um, said, you know, they said this about me. They said this about my body. I can't believe they just said that. And I just was like, I was just blown away. I was like, oh my Lord. And it sat with that kid for the next few weeks, you know, that I worked with, with them. That, what that, what that other student said, and these are kids, these are kids, right? So, um, you know, you can chalk it up as maybe they don't know any better. However, we're adults and we sling language around worse than that, that I've seen. And, and we have control over that. We know better. And it's our, our, uh, our, uh, uh, our responsibility to do better. Another video, that'll be the next one, uh, implementing that. Um, and so it, it just blew me away how long what was said stuck with this kid and how he carried it, how they carried it going forward. And it, it's, it, it just, it's, it's really important to hone in on how much weight and power your words have. And, if, and I remember this being told to me after a group therapy session, if you knew how powerful your words were, you would not only think once, not only twice, but at least three times before you opened your mouth every time. And that stuck with me and it's an active verb to practice that and think about it, but give that some thought going forward in your day. And I, I still put you up on the challenge. Five minutes after you finish this video, like take inventory of the words going through your head and the words coming out of your mouth the next five minutes. It'll definitely, um, it'll definitely help you, I think. All right. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you in the next one. If you found this video of value, hit subscribe or like. We'll see you in the next one.